Hey, sweet faces. Welcome to this week's homework review where we're talking about calculating discounted prices as well as tips. So let's talk about this and why we would need this, why we would use this, because I think it's important to understand how you utilize these skills in the real world. Number one, discounted price you're going to use a lot of times when you're shopping. Um, it can help you get a better price. It can make sure that when you're being charged at the register that you're paying the correct amount. So when we're calculating the, dis the discounted price, we're looking for three steps, okay? Number one, write the percent as a decimal. We are professionals at this, at this point. Multiply the cost by the discount. So what do we start with? What's the discounted amount? And because it's a discount, it's taking away from the price. So we're going to subtract that from the total price. Now, as we're going over the answers, I'm giving you what the discount would be after you multiply and then what your total should be after you've subtracted. And then just a quick tip, remember that it's money. So some of these you're going to have to round. Money only has two decimal places, right? So just be mindful of that. Since we are using mobile math machines, I'm going to talk about what we could put into our calculator, break it down for you. But as always, if you have additional questions, please bring them with you to class. So for this one, we're doing 25% off of 100. 25% as a decimal would look like this. So I'm multiplying 25 times 100. My discount, which D is going to stand for our discounts from here on out because I don't want to write it every time. I have a discount of $25, which means T, our total price that we pay is $75. So we saved $25. We paid $75. 10% of $25. Our discount is going to be $2.50. The total that we pay is going to be $22.50. So 10 times 25 gives you $2.50. Subtracting that from 25 leaves you with $22.50. 12% as a decimal is going to be 12 hundredths, times that by 23 and 50 hundredths. Make sure you're putting that decimal, both decimals, in if you're using a calculator. So when we multiply these, my discount is going to be $2.82. When I subtract that, my total that I'm still paying is $20.68. 32% of $135. When I multiply that, my discount is $43.20. The total that I still need to pay is $91.80. This one, be careful. When we're making a percent to a decimal, remember we move that decimal place two times. So my decimal for this there we go, is 205 thousandths. I'm multiplying that by 150. So my discount on this one is $30.75. The total that I would pay is $119.25. Same thing with this. Be careful. 3.5% is my discount. So when I move that decimal two times, I have to put in my favorite number zero as a place saver, multiplying that by $75. My discount, sorry, I started to write the money sign before the D for discount. My discount is $2.63. My total paid is $72.38. Any questions? Bring these with you to class. Page two, looking at discounted price. Remember, it's money round when needed. And know that money only has two decimal places. Write your percent as a decimal. Multiply that by the total we were supposed to pay. Subtract that amount from the total cost because a discount means our price should be getting smaller. 22% of 30. My discount is $6.60. My total paid is $23.40. 15% of 45. My discount is $6.75. My total paid is $38.25. 12% of 42 looks like this. My discount is $5.04. My total paid is $36.96. 21% of 40. My discount is $8.40. My total paid is $31.60. 37% of 
off of $14. My discount is $5.18. My total paid is $8.82. Last one for this page, 40% of $325. My discount is $130. My total paid is $195. That brings us to the end of this page and our last page specifically focusing on discounts. Please bring any questions with you to class. All right, kiddos, we are now talking about calculating tips. Remember, a tip is an extra amount that you pay towards a service good. We're going to use these in restaurants. You're going to do these for people in the service industry, like hairdressers or people, um, if you have a house cleaner, often tips are given around the holidays. So these are important things to be able to do. A lot of the tips are the same, right? The percent is the decimal, multiply, but this time we're going to add the tip because remember when we're giving someone a tip, this is extra. Our amount should be increasing. And remember, as always, it's money round when needed. So 20% tip on a $45.80 bill, watch your decimals. The tip is $9.16. The total paid is $54.96. 15% tip on a $35 bill. My tip is $5.25. Total paid is $40.25. A 25% tip on a $215 service. My tip is $53.75. My total is $268.75. A 15% tip on a $12.53 bill. My tip is $1.88. My total is $14.41. Now, this is a really great reminder of how percentage can change based on what we have. And we talked about with percentage increase and decrease, how I could say that eggs went up 5%. We might be talking a dollar. But if I say that a car went up 5%, we're talking thousands of dollars. So looking at percentage can be really helpful in helping us see the difference. Um, and we're going to compare a couple of these at the end, just as an afterthought. A 10% tip on $45. Remember the magic of 10. Slide it. $4.50 is my tip. $49.50 is my total. 30% tip on a $215 bill. The tip is going to be $64.50. My total spent is $279.50. All right, next page, still working on tips. 18% tip on a $25 bill. $9.16 is my tip. And my total, sorry, I lost my place. Um. Sorry, kiddos, I'm on the wrong page. Here we go. Okay, so my my tip, there we go, would be $4.50. My total would be $29.50. A 20% tip on a $335 service. When we multiply these, our tip is $71. Our total is $406. We're tipping two servers 20% on a $315 bill. Be careful with this one. Whoops. Go back to Canva. There we go. Be careful with this one. We're still doing 20% of our $315 bill, but our total is going to be different. When we multiply that, our tip is $63 per person. I told you we're tipping two people. So when I add that to my total, I'm adding $126. My total is 441. So watch the wording. These are getting a little tricky. I'm tipping 20% to a hairdresser, 10% to their assistant. So if I do 180% and I multiply that by 10%, so let's start with that. 
I would pay $18 to the assistant. If I double that, I get the 20%, right? So I'd be paying $36 to the hairdresser, okay? When I add those two amounts plus the service, I'm paying $234, okay? Back to a typical one, 15% tip on a $16 haircut. My tip is $2.40. And the total that I paid to walk out the door is $18.40. Last one, 35% tip on a $54.60 bill. Watch your decimals. My tip is $19.11. To get out the door, I am paying $73.71. All right, friends, you might have noticed with this last page, things got a little bit crazy because they're word problems and they star a lot of you. So I've had some requests for word problems. The cool thing about word problems is they stretch us a little bit more because instead of just answering the question, we need to figure out a few things. Number one, what are they asking me to do? Number two, what are they giving me to use? And then I need to solve. So let's talk about my friend Sabbath and her shopping trip. So Sabbath went shopping for new winter tops. The store offered 15% off the first item and 10% off the following. She purchased three shirts at $20 retail. How much did Sabbath spend? So we need to figure out a couple of things. First of all, if she got 15% off a shirt, I need to figure out what did she get off of that. So for that shirt, she gets $3 off. For any shirt after that, she gets 10% off, which means she gets $2 off, okay? So that's my starting point. If she has one $3 discount and two $2 discounts, three plus two, plus two is seven. She's getting $7 off. Okay. The three shirts would have cost her $60, but with her $7 discount, she's paying $53 total. Then down here, the stretch is if her mom gave her $60 to spend, does she have enough left to get her $5 and 45 cent Frappuccino? She does because that would bring us to a total of $58 and 45 cents spent, okay? Over to our lunch date, Lou had an amazing lunch with Dory, Reagan, and Lily. Two of them ordered the $8.95 taco platter, and two of them ordered the $9.95 enchiladas. If they're gonna tip 20%, I wanna know what the total bill is. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out how much they spent. So. For these two, we have $17.90 that they spent, just multiplying them by two. For the enchiladas, they spent $19.90. If I put those two amounts together, total they spent $37.80. Now it's time to tip. If I times that by my 20%, they are going to tip $7.56 total. They spent, let me change it because I'm running out of space. They spent $45.36. That's with their tip included. If they split it evenly and there are four of them, they are each going to be paying $11.34. All right, let's talk about Adisa. Adisa started a bakery and hired Peyton to work the front counter. If a customer orders $35 worth of pastries and tips Peyton 10%, how much did Peyton earn? Peyton earned $3.50 tip on that order. Congratulations, Peyton. Judy made too many chocolate chip cookies and doesn't want them to go to waste. If you buy 10 cookies, you get 10% off your price. Cookies are $1.25 each. What is the total cost for 10 cookies? So, First, we would need to figure out what she's paying. Multiplying that by 10, we get $12.50. Then she gets 10% off. So $1.25 times 10 gives us the total. She's paying $12.50 for those cookies. She gets a discount of $1.25, which means she essentially gets one cookie free. So that means in total, she is paying $11 and 25 cents 
for 10 cookies. If we are doing 15 cookies, we would do $1.25 times 15, which means to start, she would be paying $18.75 with the 10% discount. That means you get $1.88 off. $18.75 with the $1.88 discount means that 15 cookies would cost $16.87. All right, we have Imran, Ava, and Charity went to a coffee shop to study for their upcoming math test. They each ordered a hot chocolate for $4.50. There are three of them. Charity and Ava spent $5.25 on a sandwich. There are two of them. And Imran got the tacos. I agree. If they tip 20%, what is their total? So let's do this step by step. First, we need to figure out what they spent. Hot chocolate came to a total of $13.50. The sandwiches were $10.50 and his tacos for $4.75. If I add those all together, their total bill is $28.75. If we multiply that by the 20% tip, their tip is going to be $5.75. So if we add that all together, their total that they spent would be $34.50. I hope you guys had a nice time studying. Last one, a little tricky. I did include a tip for you, okay? It says that Elka, Isabella, and Josh went to the movies on a Friday night. Tickets cost $10.69, but are 30% off before 1 p.m. If they each got a ticket, popcorn for $6 and a soda for $3, what did each person spend? You only need to figure out the cost for one person. So one ticket was $10.69 with a 30% discount. Only the ticket is discounted. So they get $3.21 off of their ticket. So we're doing the cost of a ticket, which is $7.48 plus the popcorn plus the soda. So adding to that $9, each person paid $16.48. Love to know what you thought about adding the questions, the word problems this week to our homework. Give me your thoughts. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Have a great week.